Hello and welcome back. I'm Michael Wolf here to show you part number six from Emerald from Join the Game. Oh, from Join the Game, the Emerald Edition, I guess it's in a way. There we go. I remember, I'll get the, I'll get the title right sometime. I'll make it sound nice somewhere on someday. It's from Art to Game Emeralds. That's well, generally what the series. Oh, this series is called. I think we're gonna do more from like art and little series stuff. So we can do more plants. Long version of the plants. We're actually almost at the point where we get to go, go into Godot. Uh, also, I'm thinking, I'm sorry to those people who've probably been waiting for this series to come out and then it only is taking me five years just to record one video <laughs> sometimes. Three weeks, um, yeah, it, was, it really got an. I don't know. We got delayed just because I got busy and then it got my computer died. So what do we need to do here is walking. I'm gonna do something lazy. Don't actually need to have those feet. No, I do not. Okay, so we're gonna do something lazy here. Actually, let's pause. No, mm -hmm. I'm so tempted just to copy and paste. So we're gonna start off with the walking back. And should we just start off our middle frame first? I might as well, I guess. So this is... Okay, I might as well... Right, excuse me. <laughs> so... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we got six. Okay, this one over here. Oh, something's having a complaint on my computer. I probably should be more worried about it, but I'm really not at <laughs> the same time. If you have one thing down there, I know exactly what it is. If you do have that problem, you don't know what that sound is. It's just basically a drive complaining or being unhooked. Okay. I ain't gonna get any of these down the floor as much too. So we did idle back on the last one. I did that to keep you hooked. Ah. You didn't see that one coming. So then we have our spaces. We have two spaces to so at least a wall. And good thing about the front, we still don't have to do <laughs> the um, back legs in a way, because you don't really see them. At least in the way I've done this, so... Hmm. I know this is also not like a eight direction way. That's just how it's gonna be. <laughs> okay, so... We go one and a two. So, hmm. I don't know why I'm finding it really hard to see that. Just having a blind moment, I guess, in a way. There we go. Oh, look at that. Hang on, do I need to delete that little bugger? No, I do not. Oh, okay, that works. <laughs> we should probably name, name tag this. I guess what's also exciting, at the time of doing this, you guys get to hear about it. I don't know how long into the future, or maybe it is spoilers, you get to see it soon before the next devlog. But I have got the pickup system 
fully working, I just need to get the inventory display to display it. Connect it to the inventory display and it's all good and hood. That is the basics of inventory pickup and drop system. And then I just need to go for all that kind of stuff. Someday when I fully do inventory, since you're watching this, you are interested in the game development stuff. I will do like a full video on it from doing the in, in, um okay inventory in general during the drop system and pick up system i might uh, yeah but do the drop system so you know what to do like put on the mobs or whatever your um entities do the pick up system or like pop a, like i'm um, pressing a button to pick up or you can just do like show you how to do like a one in system like you one into it Oh, I'll try to do that for you. And then the inventory system that connects those two together and then connect it to probably display inventory. Get up for that and then do the hopper. And then do all the selection stuff for that and equipment spots and everything. Oh god, that sounds like a lot of work. But eventually, when I get that working myself, I will probably do that for you all out there because it's. A tutorial like that is needed. I don't know. I felt like I was basically putting together a puzzle. And I still am putting together the puzzle. I have to go, like, go through the display. Go through, like, two different types of coders. And figure out. And decode the language that they're using and the way they want to phase it. So I think they figure out what's their phasing. And that'd be done with resources too, general resources is what I wanted to do. I was really asked to find one who does do the like general resources by himself, but then the problem with him was he didn't do like inventory display. I had some people who did inventory display, had some people who did jack, drop, and switch ones. There's a big different tutorials in total. <laughs> But I think the ideal tutorial was putting that all into one. I still gotta finish watching the other one to do like equipment. And probably think I'd do the hopper in a way too. I kinda watched that one, but I'll probably have to go back and watch it again. It's very different watching it from actually watching it and writing it than actually watching it and have to decode it to add it to yours. Like yeah. There you go, I've been distracted now. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going over here. I'm gonna look at the front, see what we're doing. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a bit different. Well, we can go freelance, why not? <clears throat> It would be basically like that, and then you have, um... Oops. Hang on. Oh, I forgot to stick it out more. Whoops. I don't know. I feel like last time I did this, I feel like I was like talking more, but now I'm really not. I don't know. Maybe it's because I had more coffee in the system at that time. I don't know why. I don't know. Just something at that. The last time I did this, this is something that was up with me, and I just like did it. Did it all. Every single last bit of this work that I had to do. It was crazy. Oh, whoops. I'm just trying to highlight this, and it's like, no, you cannot do that. I also went to bend this one by one. Yeah, whoops. Do that. Okay. What is that looking like now? Oh, the tail doesn't want to do anything. Oh, whoops. Hang on, how's the tail meant to go? And move forward, wiggle on the. <laughs> Okay, let's see what I do here. Oh, 
up a bit on here. Go with that. A bit more down, but I actually want to check it up a bit more. <clears throat> then we're going up like that. There we go. Then it can come up a little bit. I don't know if this makes sense or not, but we're going with it. Let's see where it leads us down, what dark path it leads us to. Oh, it looks okay. So we got one down, up. Um, I haven't quite done that one quite. No, we haven't actually done this properly. Let's go with this. I think what you want to do, then we can go one up, and being this one, one up. Now it should be pretty good. Yeah, I don't mind that. I mean, that doesn't look the finest what we're doing there, but hey. Is the walking like slow down or something? No, okay, it's just me. Oh, I forgot how cool that is. I haven't actually done like animation in a while. Oh, this looks alright. I like the look of that one. Let's go with it. Okay, so now we gotta do running. So probably if we don't end up getting it in this part with Godot, getting to Godot, we'll probably do um next time. At the very least, so we will eventually get to that. Don't you worry about that one. Running is gonna be actually reasonably easy. I really like how we've done this. I really like how we do all the animations. Yeah, yeah, I think you, what you do with animation is you purposely overdo it or make it look goofy. You don't take it, you don't do a dead series. I mean, you could do a dead series to see what it looks like, but. Usually what I've learned is that you don't do it like full on serious. Okay, wanting. I'll make sure to finish it off. I'm gonna fully finish it off in this video. I'm gonna make sure. Then we do all the export stuff. So we knock this one up. Do I actually want to make that? Mm. Take off the pause down there. Is oops. I'm going the wrong way first. Actually, no, I'm going the right way first. So you're not close. Knock that down by one. That will work because you, you're bending down. So when you're winding back, even when you're in the back, you are essentially, hmm, well, maybe you're going up by one. Yeah, who knows? But yeah. Bend the down one. Uh, let's just go down. I think you'd probably make it okay if you go up to <clears throat> But I guess you're watching someone if you're watching this you're probably watching someone who knows a little bit more than you do. That's about it. <laughs> uh, I guess I've done this for a little bit. I've gone through the torture. It does, I guess it kind of does get easier, but at least when you get the code done and that's the which 
for God's sake, duplicate the code or whatever, or maybe use an inherent code thing, but that gets pretty complicated for your first time. I really didn't kind of understand them until a little bit later. But if you don't know what in, like inherit code is, it's basically what you do at the top. It says extend from node, more likely, or node to d. So you can just say extend for this strip, which you which I do for my own items. So each item is universally to whenever it drops, it can be jacked to what to use the person. But I think if I do look into that again, I think I'll do something like that. Oh, Hang on, I'm doing that the wrong way. This one's gonna be like this, and this one over here is meant to be the one up. Whoops. So good. <laughs> I'll give the eye up here. That one that little um eye dot thing is eye. There's your little shortcut. Yeah, I have used this so much that I have started to learn the shortcuts in base for the pencil. Oh boy. Went for things, man. Yeah, I might bring you down by one. So then we get. I don't know if that would help or not. The problem with the difference between game animation and general animation is that you gotta do these animations without them actually physically moving. Is what I find best to work. And unlike with general animation, you are allowed to physically move them, but instead you're going to give them the illusion of running or walking without actually physically moving them. But in itself, it takes a different type of talent. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I'm satisfied with that. Now we have to get in the bite. It's kind of easy on the back, actually. Yeah, oh, that's always good. Each side has its um easy frames and harder frames. I feel like not every side is like uh, like super hard than one the other because when you do the left and right, well. <laughs> Even if the side view is a bit more complicated, you've got to move more things in a way. It's actually kind of easy. It gives you more of a visual feedback too, I feel like, when you're moving stuff on the side than the front and back. But even if what you're doing is moving stuff on the side, you can just copy and paste on left and right. But you don't actually have to do that. That's just something you do to save yourself a lot of work. But hey, you do what you want to do. I'm just here to try to help you save yourself a lot of work, but if you want to go through that hell, you can be my guest, I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't even know if that will work. Maybe I guess it'll look a lot. Because they're, um,
Yeah, you're gonna make sure whatever you do, it's a oh, whoops, very minimal movement. Okay, new tag. I'm pretty sure I've got to put down the ears at one point, so. Okay, let's go with the next part. Hang on, I've got to make sure the ears aren't. Yep. I thought as much. I thought I had to put down the ears. I'm sure that's the whole thing, too, that they put down the ears or something like that. I don't know, I could be mistaken. Okay, now we get rid of this flame over here. We don't want that interfering with what we're doing. Although, you can get it right back. Oh, wrong export. <laughs> um, this export. So, export sheet. We want to tick that and make sure that box is ticked. Um, number by number. Yeah, by number. So, we want... Hmm. So, let's go with five first. See what that looks like. You at least try to get it to a point eight. Where you remember what we're doing, what, how much you use. Oh, eight's perfect. Just try to remember what you're doing here. I might take a screenshot of that for future weapons. And also, I might take a screenshot of this to so be used for the thumbnail. There you go. Like, well, that's actually a pretty perfect number. So, you can use tab to knock out that bottom bit if you don't know that. Well, it's um 64, so we got 8 by 8. <laughs> That was really cool. That's how many words that is. Wow, I didn't see that one coming. Could not find any better yourself, myself. And there you go. Now it's sixty-five. But hey, there we go. Just in case you want to add anything more, just keep a base frame. I like to put a base frame off to the side over there. So I don't really need that, so I can, might as well just delete it, delete it. But I mainly, I, I, I'm at least I kept the base frame there so you can go for all the animations. So, okay, so now we save this. No, of course, I did press up, but I don't know, I thought for a moment I did save this. So, other animals. Let's have it in the dark with fellas and great planes. So, this is what we're going to be ending on um, when I get to. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Get here. <laughs> no, I'll get there eventually. Now we go all the way up here. So what you want to do? So I know this probably looks dawn and complicated. So we have our second AY sword. If you want, and what I did for what's important, I think, is that you should make your main well resource up here is a Y sword. Then thing is, if I didn't have this node here, that will that's like a border. Imagine it being like a wall. Like a um, wall that stops like the water from coming in, and I just put that on a different thing too. I don't know if that's important anymore, but hey, at least I put these on different thing. I'm pretty sure there was something I'd do with um the L index, so it looks like it was working, not uh, mixing with everybody else. I don't know exactly what I did to it, but then I checked it on another node and separated from everything. So I'm pretty sure if I did this, yeah. So what I do was, because so it came like this, so that means I had to bring it down by one. So all of it's on its own separate little node that's down minus the in index. That means all of my nodes on C index are that way. You can what you can see right there. I guess that would have been a nice way to say all that. So all your time maps are in there. All them will go off by the glid. Everything else don't have to. Okay, we'll pass all that. Let's go to animals. Let's chuck them in the dark with followers a lot. Hmm, we can need a call the farm. Let's go to good animals. Let's chuck them in there on there. Thing here. We got three of others. Now we make a new folder. Now I'm just gonna call a little dog just to finish this episode off. So, this one you don't have to keep everything together. I just like keeping it like this so you have the oh, whoops, stop it. <laughs> I got like me. So, you have everything like all that's related to animals. So, it's very important if you have a real complicated animal like the border collie, but except for that, it's not really. Then, here we are. 
If you're doing something with a pause menu or into it, I reckon men probably keep them all together so then you can copy and paste them and do other games. Or when you type a coding feed so that takes a lot of work. Or you can just copy and paste the code. Either way it works. What I'm going to do. Um, I was meant to be in bold right now. This is where the my want to go be. I do have another side. Yeah, I gotta click on it. Make sure you click on the folder so it goes into that area. Or be a pain in the ass. So, see, this is what the little dog looks like now. It doesn't look that great. And then you just go to here, we pull it to D, and boom. We delete that. This is not where we're doing the dog. Now, what we're gonna do is. I guess we might as well do it from vanilla in a way. So I'll just go through this code. I won't actually like proper like wide it up and everything. Just because we will seriously be here all day for like every bit of section we need to light up. So let's just do him up to here. So it was eight by eight it would be if I'm not mistaken by my math. Yes. So let's line them up out here. Now I need to go find a node that I call all top boxes. Whatever it is, whatever the heck it's hiding these days. Top boxes. Sets. Excuse me as I move that up. I might have to move that from a different place. So your stat is the universal health for like everything. So right now it has one health. Let's give it about 10 health. I'll show you that code next time. Right, we don't need to open him up, but we do need to open this one up. Enable children, make local. So the point of that one is like a portable folder. So what I did was that was I put all these boxes in there that is needed on oh hang on, they need what that's in there. <laughs> that is needed on every mob. And all these are just basically enable children, enable children, enable children. So right now they're pretty simple, like they are a really advanced AI system to them, but maybe later we get to get a look in there a bit more. Oh, I need to rename it. Oh, come out. I just want you to copy and paste. Save me the work, please. The little dog, we would change that name, we probably would, um, save that. And we do need to give him a collider in general too. Okay, well that's what we're going to leave off today. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. And soon, we are going to add him to the game. He is going to, probably, next time he's probably going to be running around like a mad dog. Or, next in the next two ones, so. We just basically done... Probably the hardest part of him. Now we're going to do all the coding, which once you've done the coding, you don't have to really do again. I mean, yes, you got to adjust it to each animal, but it's not that bad. And we even got sound to show you off too, and all that. So hope you enjoy. I'm Mikola, and see you next time. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.